Today we're back inside of Diablo Immortal and I'm letting you know everything that you need to know about runes inside of the game as they sit right now. This is a way for you to get yourself and how to unlock legendary gems absolutely for free. You can't get hundreds of them, but you can get some legendary gems. So let me walk you through the process. What is up my friends, my name is Echo, welcome back to the channel and runes and fading embers are difficult to understand, right? They're just not clear. So here I am going to be sharing with you the how-to. Now, let's take a look at what drops from an enemy when you run an Elder Rift. But first of all, you need to run an Elder Rift with friends that are running rare or legendary crests. And then you'll be able to get some Fading Embers and some runes. So let's watch that drop right now. As you can see, the runes dropped. We got some Fading Embers as well. Now, what do you do with them, right? First of all, runes can be traded in for legendary gems. They're like kind of like a concoction or a potion that you put together. When you get enough of them, you can trade them in for the gems. Let me actually show you. So we're here at the Apprentice Jeweler and one of the services that you have from the jeweler is to craft yourself some gems. Now, how do you craft gems? What do you have options of and what is the best one to do? Now, what I personally do all the time and only this are craft random legendary gems. As you can see, it's going to cost me 22 of these runes, the FA or the FA rune, to create one legendary gem. This could be a one star or it could be all the way as good as a five out of five star. You can see right now I have 22 of these so I can craft one of these random legendary gems. Let's actually do that right now and then I'll show you how to get the FA runes to do this process. So we're gonna hit craft. Do you wanna craft this legendary gem? Okay, what do we get? Pain of subjugation, a one star gem. Is this anything great? No, it's not anything great, but it is a legendary gem. So what we need to do is figure out how do you get these runes? And if you look at my backpack right here or my satchel, shall you, you'll notice I have all of these different runes. All of them can be used to concoct different types of gems inside of the game. Let me, let me jump back in here to the jeweler. I'll show you one more time. You can go over here to craft. And if you wanna do a lightning core, you'll need these runes and notice i can craft a lightning core if you want a battle core guard you'll need these runes so essentially you can craft a bunch of different gems inside of the game two star gems and one star gems and it looks like i have enough of all of these to do that which is nice i could actually craft myself a good number of gems and i probably should even if it's to break them down to upgrade the gems that i'm already using and already lightning liking Everlasting Torment, this, that's one that a lot of people say that I should be using. Let's go talk more about the runes and how to get them, how to use them, and what to do with them. So as we get closer to Selic, we'll notice that when we go visit him, he has a shop. We can get many different kinds of runes. We could choose any of these, we could choose rare runes, or really the only one that matters is the Fa rune. That's the only one I care about because it's going to give me the chance of a 5 out of 5 star gem. These ones will not, all right? So right here it set, tells me that it's gonna cost me 18 of these Fading Embers for one rune. Fading Embers drop when you are in these rifts. You get Fading Embers from running the rifts. I think you can get 320 of them a day or something like that. There is a cap to them. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure of the cap right now. I wanna say 320 a day, but don't quote me on that. And all you wanna do is if you wanna buy one of the runes, you would just keep on clicking like this. It's gonna show you how many embers you need. So if I need 22 to get myself that though enough runes to do the mysterious legendary gem, it's gonna cost me almost 400 of the fading embers. These take a while to accumulate. You may be able to get one a week or so. So let's go right here. We're gonna buy confirm purchase. We bought enough for one chance at a one through five star legendary gem. Now, of course, you can go all the way and I can go like this and spend the rest of what I have, but I can only get 11 and we know it cost me 22. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on out of here. We're going to navigate over back to the jeweler and we're gonna give it one more chance, one more go. And we'll see what kind of a legendary gem I can get from these runes now that I finally have enough to give myself another shot. And it is just that. This costs nothing. You get these from running with friends that are using rare or crests or things like that, but it doesn't really cost you any real money inside of the game. So there are chances at legendary gems yourself. But as you can see, there's a limited number you can get. So we're gonna go with a random legendary. We have 22 of 22. We're gonna craft it. Yes, we want our luck. Cross your fingers. 
Freedom and Devotion, another one star gem. So all that grind I did, I got myself two gems that I'm not really gonna use, but I will use them for food. And what I mean by that is if I wanna upgrade a regular gem that I'm using, like right here, I'm using Berserker's Eye. I need one Berserker's Eye gem to upgrade it, and I need 20 random gems. So I would go here, I don't wanna throw away anything that I would actually need or use. We need the Berserker's Eyes and the Trick Shots because we're using those. Pain of Subjugation, we just crafted one of them. Car Carson's Invigoration, I'm holding. Defiant Soul, Zod, Freedom Devotion. You know what? We're not going to have enough because when we get to the Fervent Fang... Oh, actually, we did have enough. We did. You know what? This isn't the gem I want to upgrade, though. Why don't I go ahead and actually do this to a gem that I want to upgrade, which is going to be... <laughs> it's going to be the Trick Shot gem. So we'll go ahead. I didn't realize that I... Do I not have enough? Oh, I don't have enough for the trick shot. So what I'm going to do is wait until I get 25 so I can do the trick shot gem. Although I could always go ahead and do this as well if I wanted to craft. And let's say I want a two-star gem, right? Let's say, which one do I want? Let's go right here. I could go craft this gem. Then I could use it as food, break it down. We got ourselves a lightning core gem from other runes that we picked up along the way. And I think I would probably need one more, so we'll go with the Follower's Burden. We're going to craft that. It doesn't really matter what gem, because we're really, like I said, just using it for food. We're just using it to upgrade another gem. Now I can come over here to my Trick Shot. I can upgrade it. I'm going to need one Trick Shot gem, and I'm going to need 25 other gems. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. We're not going to do the Berserker's Eye. We need that. We're not using the Trick Shots. That's seven, we have eight, nine. We're not using Carson's because we may run that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Boom, that's enough. We're gonna upgrade our gem. Yes, we are going to consume these gems. We don't need them. No, we don't need them. Oh, upgrade. Now we got our gem to the next level. Upgrading one star gems is not the most difficult thing to do. It's actually fairly easy to do. And then remember, once you get it to level 10, you can resonate the gem, which is gonna be really nice for you because resonation is gonna give you the extra powers that you can get from those gear slots. So runes can be tough, but now hopefully that gives you a better understanding. This is a little bit clunky, right? It's not the easiest way. Like why not just get runes and directly get a legendary crest that you could run? and then that legendary crest will give you your chances. Why do you have to go through here? Or why don't you just get certain runes for certain gems and make that work that way? And it costs 20,000 runes for a three out of five star legendary gem. Who knows? This is clunky, but again, you never know when things are gonna change inside of the game. Mind you, I hope the, uh, I hope the charm system changes too. I'm not in love with that one. If you missed my charm guide, I'll be linking that one above because that's another system that's difficult to understand. But this is a great way for you to get free legendary gems and uh, it's gonna allow you to get your upgrades on for free. Is it fast? Nope. Is it slow? Yup. But is it free? Yes, it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, guys, and be good.